Diabetes is a worsening problem in Taiwan, with diabetes representing about 10 percent of the population. Amid the pandemic, many people with diabetes have been avoiding hospitals, skipping consults and other health care uh, that helps them cope with their condition. Taipei doctors are urging diabetics to continue closely monitoring their blood, blood sugar at home. At a press conference in Taipei, doctors gave advice on how to choose a blood sugar monitor for use at home. About 10 percent of Taiwan's population has diabetes. At a recent press conference, doctors said the fear of viral transmission could be why some diabetics are now staying away from hospitals. Amid this epidemic, I encountered a patient who was supposed to come in for a follow-up but didn't. Skip medication for two months and of course your blood sugar will be too high. Diabetics who are avoiding the hospital need to be especially careful with their health, especially during the pandemic. According to Taiwan Centers for Disease Control, people with diabetes are at higher risk for severe complications from COVID-19. Doctors say people with chronic conditions should continue medication intake, maintain regular exercise, eat a balanced diet, and monitor their symptoms. People who have low blood sugar, as well as type 2 diabetes patients, should routinely monitor their glucose levels. Doctors had some tips for picking out a quality glucose meter. When buying a blood glucose device, look for one that's FDA certified. Check if it has passed the ISOU 197 certification. Don't use the machine in extremely hot environments over 40 degrees Celsius as it could crash. You should also not put the device in water. Doctors urge against using test strips that have expired or that have been stored improperly. Before testing, clean the skin to avoid infection. Replace or repair the meter if it gives a reading that's more than 10 percent off a hospital reading. Taiwan's Food and Drug Administration says that glucose monitoring device should only be purchased from certified pharmacies. For most news, Stephanie Yang, Liao Wenpu in Taipei.